Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. What's up, Team Dia Mad Sister, Master Stylist, and I am back with another video. Happy Vlogmas. Um, it's Sunday. I'm getting ready to make some keto friendly chicken alfredo um i might put some spinach in it um what else what else we came here for oh and we came to get some stuff to put in our waters because you just get tired of drinking plain water and that's it i guess some like little keto friendly snacks that we can find some get some taco seasoning even though I know how to make it but in case I don't feel like it or I need Troy to cook it's good to have some on hand here now the, this lady that I I told you Cookies, the um keto vanilla wafers. Uh huh. I ordered. So, you know, that's gonna be a project. I think it's gonna be good though. Should be. I'm gonna get some um salmon. Nah. Huh? Hell no, nah, I don't eat that. The salmon croquettes? Yes, you do eat oh. salmon croquettes. We're gonna just get salmon like. Like you know, these yeah, that type oh. of shit I ain't doing that. <laughs> I don't know how to pick these out. <laughs> you gotta get these. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me, but the ones. She said these were too salty. You said they were too salty. I only ate one. I gave them the rest on the curry. You talking to him today? No. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they don't like it. They don't like it. Maybe they don't So I'm only eating the inside. What are you doing? And Troy is pouring his into. Hold on, y'all. I don't 
the hardest shit. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat mine the way that I want them. But he don't smell shit. So, y'all, we ate a piece of pizza last night. We were desperate though. We were real desperate. <laughs> Y'all got my little sensei to go ahead and mess up. He making it mushy and nasty looking. Y'all tell me if it look nasty or not. This looks solid. Y'all know people that always gotta be like vulgar or nasty or mine always in the gutter. Well, me Keisha. That's Keisha. That's what she is. I got the meat thawing out. I need to clean out the refrigerator. tell y'all because y'all know I'm a real ass bitch you feel me there's nothing but realness on this channel like I don't know how to be any other way but real so my car got fucking roaches y'all I don't have roaches in my house I don't have roaches in my salon like I hate roaches I don't know where the roaches come from I do park under a tree somebody told me that it could be the fact that I park under a tree I bumped the car, um, well, my truck, that didn't work. So I'm getting this, uh, I went and got this combat roach gel. And I know this works because um, years ago, oh, I had to be about 21. Me and my friend rent this apartment. The apartment was like $600 a month. Uh, we didn't have to pay no deposit or nothing. But and it was a three bedroom, but the downsize was the property had roaches. <laughs> the property had roaches. So actually I wasn't even 21. I turned 21 there. I was 20 or whatever. And so we was like, okay, young, just want a place to stay or whatever. So shit. We went and got some combat roach gel, roach spray, the roach hotels, whatever you call those little things, the roach traps and boric acid and when i tell you within a month the house was roach free so <laughs> i can't deal with roaches that's my story i haven't always been where i am now so i don't get on here and i try to pretend like i've just been born with a silver spoon in my mouth because i was not now why the fuck these roaches in my car i don't know but it's driving me crazy and i only see them at night um so i have taken everything out of my car I have to finish taking just like, I got stuff on the side of my door, like mask and hand sanitizer and little stuff like that. So I'm removing everything out of my car because I don't want to give the roaches nowhere or nothing to hide under. Um, I just don't know where they come from. I don't know. Cause I, I was gonna say maybe from my storage um, when I went and got some stuff from storage and you know everybody has stuff in storage and it'd be roaches in storage but then that would that would mean they would be in my house and I, I haven't seen any roaches in my house so I don't think it came from me bringing my Christmas stuff from the storage so it has to be because I park under this tree I don't know but this is my like assigned parking spot so it's either that or I'm gonna have to start um, parking and gas parking I don't know but your girl got roaches, okay? In her car. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> My husband was like, uh uh, you got roaches in your car. Like, it, it's bad. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but I seen them and I, uh uh. One is enough for me, so they gotta go. 
Child, I got lashes I've been looking for. So what I'm doing now is just uh, getting ready to squeeze. Later that same evening. So relaxed. Just chilling, huh? I like how you eased off though. Don't think I ain't notice it. You know, you ain't sharper than me, but I just want you to know that I noticed. Okay? okay. So anyway, y'all. I'm currently about to cook some chicken Alfredo, keto style. Where the noodles at? Uh, <laughs> yeah. The ones that look like rubber bands. That was her description of the noodles. They look like rubber bands. So I'm using these impossible noodles. Uh, low carb noodles, eight net carbs a serving, um, and I'm going to make some keto Alfredo sauce. And with that, I'll be using. Uh, I'll put the ingredients over here. Hold on, y'all. So I'll be using these ingredients to make my homemade Alfredo sauce. Now, usually, I have some um, the grated, I guess that's the grated, um, the dry Parmesan cheese, but I don't have any. So if it's not thick enough, I will add some um, xanthan gum in there just to thicken it up a little bit. And then this is what I seasoned the chicken with, and I'm gonna cook that in some Granny B's butter. Y'all seen my video um, on this in my black business haul. So I'm gonna be using the Cajun butter today. And yeah, get started. Okay, y'all. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some of my Granny B's butter. gonna scoop that in there now like I say we are doing keto so and then while that is uh, melting I'm gonna take some more butter and this one is for the Alfredo sauce, so. Alfredo, yeah. For this one, I'm gonna use a little bit of Granny B's garlic, butter, and regular butter. Okay, that's the roasted garlic butter. Gonna turn that on low because I don't want that to heat up too much. And then I'm gonna take a, some regular butter. Now back to my other pan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken. It's on like a medium right now, a medium low. Because I am using chicken breasts, so I don't want those breasts to be dried out.
on down. This is it. We're about to eat our keto dinner. I got some stuff to do, so that's it. See y'all for the next vlog.